Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to SE Aviation and today I'm going to show you what this little airport symbols mean because there are a lot of them, some are red, some are white, some are big, some are small, some have long runways, some don't, some have strange names, some don't, so what does it all mean? I'm going to show you today in this video. So, there's a very nice um, system that the Federal Aviation Administration created to identify the airports, let's start. Now the big one, the general one, is by colors. There are blue and red or magenta airports. Now what do they mean? Any airport depicted in blue means that that airport in real life has an operating control tower. Any airport depicted in magenta or red means that that airport in real life does not have an operating control tower. So does this airport have an operating control tower? No, it does not. This one has? Yes, it does. This one has? Yes, it does. This one? No, it does not. Moving on, you can see that some airports have their runways depicted like this, and others have also the runways depicted, but then have this big circle around them, this blue circle, which can also be magenta, like this one. That means that the runways, all of them, are shorter than 8,069 feet. So, by seeing that, you can tell that this airport right here has a runway that's longer than 8,069 feet. Also this one, for example. At Honolulu, runway 04 left, 08 left, sorry, is 8,069 feet longer. Sorry, not longer, I mean, it's that long. Now, moving on, you can see that some airports have these like crosses on the top, bottom, the right and the left. Like seeing it from a 45 degree angle rotated, it looks like a cross. Well, that means that that airport in real life has fuel available from Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's depicted, you know, by the use of ticks around the basic airport symbol. Now, in an explain like that's the like it's not very realistic because you can fuel your aircraft at any airport but well it tells you that in real life the airport has fuel now if the airport is like this one with the long runways is it has to have fuel it's as easy as that it has to have now moving on you can see this little star here on the top also you can see this star uh, right here what does it mean? Well, that means that in real life, that airport has a rotating airport beacon in operation sunset to sunrise. Now, what is the airport beacon? Let me show you. If we go right here to Honolulu, and then we get away from the airport, can you see that rotating green, white light? Look at it. Green, there it goes. White, there it goes. That is the rotating airport beacon. It can be seen from very far and it's very useful. Now, in airports that don't have this little star, like this one, you're not going to see the airport beacon. Look at it. The airport beacon is nowhere to be seen. However, there is a book, because in some airports like this one, which does not have the little star, you can still see the airport beacon. Look at it. There it goes. Green. That's green again, then it's gonna go white, green, white. There it goes. Let me show you with daylight. Right here with your upper beacon is. Here you can see rotating. There it goes. It's rotating. Can you see it? Now, that's a bug because as you can see in the map, it says that our, that airport does not have this star, so it does not have the rotating airport beacon. So that's like something X-Plane has to, you know, work on. Now, moving on, when you like are using different type of airports, maybe for helicopters or for water lining, you're gonna find this. Now, any airport with an H, it's a heliport, okay? That is a heliport. Now, there are also other type of airports, like this one. This does not have the H, does not have any kind of thing, but it's just a circle. Now, that means that the airport is other than hard surfaced, um, that has other than hard surfaced runways. So that airport might be done out of grass or sand or whatever. Let's go to it and let's find out. 
So the scenery hasn't even loaded, but when it does, you can see it's made out of grass, which means it's not a hard surface airport. Now there are also other type of airports that you're gonna find, like this one, which is a seaplane base. Now if you go to it, uh, we're probably gonna crash, but well, it's a seaplane base in real life. So there you have it. And that's more or less it, guys. Those are all the airport types you're gonna find in X-Plane. All of them. Now you know what they mean. Remember, blue means control tower, magenta means non control tower. Runways depicted means the runways are 8,069 feet or longer. That seal color means the runways are shorter. The little ticks means there is fuel. The star means there is a rotating viking. And when, like, it has nothing on it, it means of course, it's other than hard surface runways. Thank you very much for watching. If I missed anything, please let me know. Write down in the comments if there's any other airport that I missed right here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.